Hello, I'm Johnny Good for Real Home Studio, and today I'm taking a look at and comparing five different piano plugins. Just before we dive in and look at these plugins, I want to remind you to please like and subscribe to the channel, and please do let me know what you think of them in the comments section below. Okay, so for this comparison, I'm using a bit of stock music which I composed a few months ago. For transparency's sake, I'll let you know I did originally compose it on Excellent Audio's Addictive Keys, and what I've done for the test is then copied and pasted the MIDI onto the various different tracks with the different piano plugins. So this is not just a test of how good they sound, but also how well the plugins cope with being thrown in the deep end and coping with a piece of MIDI. After the comparison's played, I'll give you my thoughts, and I'd love to hear your thoughts too, so please do drop them in the comments section below. Okay, so here's my thoughts, and I'd love to hear yours, so please do drop them in the comments section below. Excellent Audio's Addictive Keys, the upright module I think is a very realistic sounding plug-in, £89, it's also the most expensive. It's got a breadth and a depth of controls, which means you can really get in there, you can move the mics around, you can move the effects around, and uh, really get uh, your own signature sound out of this plugin. Mini Grand from Air once again shone in this test. Not only does it sound great and it's simple to use, but that dynamic response knob allowed me to manipulate the plugin to suit the MIDI performance. The Grand from DSK and the piano within Vasilian Chamber Orchestra 2 did an okay job, although two totally different sounds, a really bright grand piano in one and a really muffled sound from the other. Vasilian upright piano actually sounded okay when I was playing with it on its own, but as soon as I put it in the mix, it started to sound like it's gonna be real hard work. Worth also saying that the plugin itself suffered from some degree of lag when reading back the MIDI information. So to sum up, my personal choice for its functionality, ease of use, quality of sound, its all-round workhorseness in a home studio, it has to be Mini Grand from Air. One top tip for making this far in the video is don't jump straight in to buy Mini Grand by Air from their website, but check out sites like Plugin Boutique first, who often have it on super special offers in bundles or on its own for prices less than £10. I do hope you found the video interesting and useful today. If you did, please don't forget to like, subscribe, and most importantly, make sure you have yourself a great day.